Welcome to Tribune Sports Live. I'm Zach Steele. David Knox sitting in for Scott Buttram this week, or standing in for Scott Buttram this standing. week. David, welcome. Thank you very um, much. Good to be here. What stands out to you this past week uh, with our area teams? Well, it was such a huge week for Hewitt Trustful. Uh, the score probably didn't reflect uh, you know, how big a game it was, but it's, it's Bob Jones up in Madison. They were the uh, they ranked number 10 in the state. The only other team really that was challenging them at that time it, for the region championship, it was a huge win for Hewitt. They came across, and, and uh, Paul Tyson had a great game throwing the football, and they took care of business. Yeah. Uh, Springville, one of our area teams, finally gets the monkey off their back with a big 21-20 comeback. So victory. happy for Coach Steve Davis and the Tigers. They were down uh, 20 to nothing at halftime, pulled it out 21-20 to for their first win. Austin Hutchison threw the ball really well. Got to be happy for Springville. Get that first win. And Clay takes care of business at Gardendale. Yeah, it was uh, not close. Uh, Clay dominated both sides of the, of the line. It, it didn't help Gardendale. They lost their quarterback in the first half, but it wouldn't have made a difference. Clay is so physical, so strong in that line, both offensive and defensive lines. All right, when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit more about that Hewitt game and their big, big victory over Bob Jones. We'll be back. Trussell Vision Care is now proud to offer sports vision training for athletes. This sports-specific training improves hand-eye coordination and reaction time. As a former college athlete, Dr. Steele knows how important perfect vision is to succeed on the athletic field. For athletes, 2020 vision is not enough. Trustful Vision Care. Hi, this is Jamie Reynolds from the Josh Vernon Group at Brick Realty in Trustful, Alabama. If you're looking to buy or sell a home in our market, we would love the opportunity to help you. Jefferson Memorial Funeral Home and Gardens is home owned and operated by the Seal family. I've known Eddie Seal and his son Adam for over 25 years. They're community oriented and more importantly good folks who know how to take care of people in their time of need. That's how Jefferson Memorial became Trustful's Funeral Home and Cemetery. Jefferson Memorial is located at 1591 Gadsden Highway. You can call them at 322-0543. Before your need arises, let Jefferson Memorial family take care of your family. Welcome back. The Hewitt Huskies got out early on Bob Jones and made quick work of them, David. Paul Tyson had another great ball game. He sure did. You know, he's, he's making right decisions where he's going with the ball, and he's got plenty of uh, weapons once he gets it to him. Uh, I think four touchdowns. I think he ran for one. Uh, played great. You know, the little concerning thing is that uh, Bob Jones was able to run the ball. Uh, I think you had mentioned. Had uh, 230 yards rushing and an 8.8-yard uh, average per carry, which is pretty high. It is. So, and uh, Sparkman is, uh, is you know, a, a tough team. It's not just because it's the next game. Uh, Sparkman has one loss in the region, and it's kind of a, a swing thing. If Sparkman should somehow upset Hewitt Trussell, they'd be tied with one loss, and Sparkman would hold a tiebreaker at this point to be the region champion. Uh, they have a good quarterback. And Devin Kimbrough, LaRon White is a new coach there. He had coached at Tanner, won a couple of state championships, played at Alabama. They've got it kind of turned around at Sparkman. It's hard to think they're going to upset Hewitt. But if they, you know, if they pull it off, it's, it's a little bit of trouble for Hewitt Trussell as far as the region race goes. Well, and that's a pretty tall task for them to come down here and, and play Hewitt you know, in their home place and, and manage to pull off an upset down. I'm not saying it can't be done, but uh, Hewitt's looking pretty good right now. They're looking awfully sharp. Uh, they're doing the things they need to do. Short whatever whatever problems they had uh, containing the quarterback last week. Um, I'm sure that's something they have to look at, and that's a good thing for Coach Floyd to have something to look at to point to and so, and remind them and get them focused and on task. To you know, it's not just going to be a waltz all the way to the to the playoffs. So they have to be aware of that. I think. So. Assuming Hewitt gets by Sparkman, it, it doesn't look, as we look down the schedule, if there's anybody left on their schedule that can, can really beat them. No. Uh, we're looking at a team that could go deep into the playoffs. We are. You know, it depends on how the, the thing shakes out. You're looking at Hoover. You're looking at Phoenix City Central. You're looking at Thompson. Um, you know, those, those are some tough teams once you get deeper into the playoffs and you don't want to get tripped up uh, in the second round by somebody that's, <laughs> that's, playing, true. that's playing well. So, uh, but it does look good. This is a team certainly capable of doing that. All the weapons they have, the coaching staff, 
you know, they've got it going, and they should make a deep run in the playoffs. Absolutely. Their only games left in the, in the regular season are on the road uh, in, the, in, in the region play, going to Huntsville and Madison, James Clemens and Huntsville. Games that, you, you know, we can say they're going to take care of those. Yes. Josh Floyd that, can't say games that. Games they should win, absolutely. <laughs> games they should win. Well, when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit about Clay Chalkville and their big victory over Gardendale. Lighting Concepts would like to thank the community for supporting their Black Star event where they gave away more than $20,000 in lighting fixtures and ceiling fans. Visit their showroom where you'll discover thousands of items featuring name brand designs and guaranteed to be helped with a friendly smile and great service. Remax Trustful is owned by Alan and Nancy Drinkard with more than 30 years of combined experience. The staff are experienced, knowledgeable, and dedicated to meeting your needs. When you choose a REMAX sales associate to help you buy or sell, you'll experience a whole new level of service. Wiggins Insurance is Birmingham's home for low-cost auto insurance. Their mission is to provide the best service in the industry by shopping multiple carriers at once for you. David and his team will help you understand the process, and they'll be there to answer questions. Welcome back. And David, you were at the Clay Gardendale game Friday night. Clay looked pretty dominating. They did. Uh, dominating both sides of the line, uh, offensively and defensively. They were they're just so big, so physical, so aggressive. Uh, they're playing much, much better, just the eyeball test. Playing so hard in the defensive and offensive line. And, and they were opening holes for Curtis Blakely and Quentin Young to run through. They both ran, they probably together they ran for about 290 yards uh, on the ground. And defensively, uh, you know, once uh, Michael Crowder went out, the quarterback for Gardendale, they were left with just, you know, very much one dimensional. And I don't know what the official stats are going to say, but probably under 70 yards total offense, one first down, or no first downs in the second half, or one first down in the second half. I mean, that's just a domination. We thought it'd be closer than that. But Clay is really hitting on all cylinders right now and in good shape to make the playoffs. And let's talk a little bit about Clay in the playoffs for a second. Clay's a team that if you ask anybody from Clay, they, they'll tell you they should be undefeated because you know, they had a lead on Pinson Valley going late in that ball game. And Pinson Valley comes back and wins it. Now Pinson Valley is you know, kind of the darling of, of uh, us in the right. sports media. Right. And Clay's sitting here outside of the top ten. Now they may get in after this, after this win this week. But Clay's got to have a bit of a chip on their shoulder and say, hey, what about us? You know, we've, we've been the perennial team around here. People should start paying attention to Clay Chalk. Well, I, you know, personally, I think probably uh, Drew Gilmer hopes they don't crack the top ten because it keeps them hungry. We're not getting recognized. We're being overlooked. Uh, we feel we're every bit as good as Pinson. We're kicking game mistakes and things like that. Um, I think so. You know, uh, Clay has a, you know, they got to take care of business. They go to Carver. That's a Saturday night game. They go to Carver. And then they've got minor in the region. Uh, there's no reason they shouldn't win those two games. They're both, you know, Carver has a tough defense. Minor has some good athletes. Clay plays like they played last Friday night. Uh, they're going to win those two games. And they're, they're going to be in a good spot for the playoffs as well. They are. I, I don't think there's any way they're not going to finish at least as the runner-up and have a home game. It would be kind of freakish for Pinson Valley to lose twice for Clay to move to win the region. Um, but... Uh, they are in good shape to have a home game. They're on, they're on track, as Coach Gilmer said Friday night. They're on track to be where they need to be. All right, when we come back, we're going to get into the Springville victory for their first victory of the season. We'll be back in just a moment. At Alabama Orthopedics Spine and Sports, we partner with you to create a comprehensive treatment plan and, if needed, the most advanced surgical options available. Alabama Orthopedics Spine and Sport, like having a doctor in the family. Paul Davis Emergency Services of Northeast Birmingham helps by providing needed cleanup and restoration services. Through the appropriate tools and processes, we avoid wasting valuable time to get your property to its previous state as quickly as we possibly can. Jefferson Title and Closing is committed to providing superior service in the field of closing services, title search, and title insurance. We are proud to join the trustful community and would like to say thank you for the warm welcome. Welcome back. Springville hosted Hayden Friday night. And David, it didn't look good as we uh, started this ball game for Springville. Oh, yeah. They got down early but managed to fight back. Down 20 to nothing at, at the half. Didn't look good for the winless Spring, uh, Springville Tigers, but uh, they came back, got some turnovers, and pulled it out 
21-20 for their first win. Couldn't be happier for Coach Steve Davis. And uh, I think we talked about it. Austin, Austin Hutchison had a big night throwing the ball. So Absolutely. And one of the things that we've talked about previously this year with, with Springville, they've played pretty well defensively. They just haven't been able to get a whole lot going offensively. Maybe this is the point where they begin to get some confidence. I, I was speaking to someone from Spring Bowl earlier this week, and they said, look, if they can just get a little confidence, you know, they may backdoor their way into the playoffs. Sure. I mean, you, you know, you just can't beat confidence uh, and momentum in anything, but high school football especially. Now they believe they can win. They've won a game. Hey, we can win a game. And they have John Carroll next, uh, you know, 618. But who knows? I mean, they're, they're, they're playing well now, and they're excited, and they're getting some more offense and to go with that defense. Uh, Austin Hutchinson, let's talk a little bit about him. Just a sophomore, really, kid really throws the ball well. He really does. I think he's, he's really the, the future there. They knew before the season, uh, Coach Davis said, uh, confidentially said, please don't print this, but we're going to be more multiple. Uh, we're going to try to do some more things and throw the ball. We're not just going to line up and try to beat people uh, running the ball. So I think, uh, you know, with him there, uh, and Jace Hayes has been a good wide receiver for him, I, you know, They've started to really do some good things on offense. Well, they're a young team growing up before our eyes, so we wish them the best of luck. Absolutely. When we come back, we're going to talk about Centerpoint, another team that, that just can't seem to get off the schneid. We'll be back in just a moment. Added Storage is the newest state-of-the-art storage facility for the Trussell area. The first month is free, no contracts, easy move-ins, 24-hour access, and state-of-the-art security. Added Storage is guaranteed to match or beat any price in the Trussell area. Murdoch Tire, home of the $27.99 oil changes that includes free tire rotation. Also specializing in brake service, alignments, and new tire sales. College Prep U provides families with an expert admissions guide throughout the college search, admissions, and financial aid process. Our dedicated experts help high school students identify their college goals and reach those goals. Welcome back. and. David, center point, another tough night for them as they fall to Jasper. Yeah, uh, turnovers. Uh, you can't turn the ball over five times against anybody and expect to, to win a ball game, especially not on the road. Uh, you know, I know that those center point kids are trying hard. I wish they'd get a little bit better support in the community. You know, they're going out every morning and every afternoon. They're practicing like everybody else. But, you know, I understand, you know, 24 straight losses is – doesn't look really good, and uh, now they've got Pinson. And it's not just 20, 24 straight losses. You go, back, you have to go back to 2013 before they had a winning season, and they've only won two games since that 2013 season. So it's right. it's got to be it's got to be wearing on these players a little bit. Wearing on the players, wearing on the coaches, you know. But they're still plugging. Uh, they're still plugging. I don't know if they'll be able to knock anybody off this season. It doesn't look really good, but uh, you know, yeah, you, you have to feel for them and. Uh, Hope there are better days ahead for them. Now they play Pinson, like as you mentioned here this Friday night. That's going to be a tough, tough task for them. Absolutely, uh, a very tough task. I'm sure they're excited about playing Pinson. You know, playing a, a top-ranked team, number three team, I guess in the state they'll probably be when the when the polls come out. Um, you know, but uh, realistically, uh, center point defense has to has to really bow up, and they just can't turn the ball over to stay in that game. And that game is going to be. At Pinson now. At Pinson, They're although moved. it was supposed to be supposed at Center to be Point. at Center Point this year. Um, it's been moved to Pinson. Uh, I don't like to see region games moved. Uh, I think it's a bad precedent, but uh, they're going to play at Pinson anyway. All right, when we come back, we're going to have predictions on all these games. We'll be back in just a moment. Trussell Vision Care is now proud to offer sports vision training for athletes. This sports-specific training improves hand-eye coordination and reaction time. As a former college athlete, Dr. Steele knows how important perfect vision is to succeed on the athletic field. For athletes, 2020 vision is not enough. Trustful Vision Care. Jefferson Memorial Funeral Home and Gardens is home-owned and operated by the Seal family. I've known Eddie Seal and his son Adam for over 25 years. They're community-oriented and, more importantly, good folks who know how to take care of people in their time of need. That's how Jefferson Memorial became Trustful's Funeral Home and Cemetery. Jefferson Memorial is located at 1591 Gadsden Highway. You can call them at 322-0543. Before your need arises, let Jefferson Memorial family take care of your family. 
Welcome back. And, and David, you do this in the usually in the paper every, right. every week, but I'm going to I'm going to get you to uh, tell us on the air here uh, your thoughts on these ball games. Hewitt hosting Sparkman. We'll start with them. You've already mentioned Sparkman's a team with a dual threat quarterback can cost the Hewitt defense some problems. Right, I, I, and I think they'll cause them a few problems, but I don't see with so much on the line. I don't think Hewitt will have lost focus. This is a big game. All he has to tell them is the same thing I said earlier. You know, if we lose, they got the upper hand on winning the region. What more do you need to know? So I'm going with Hewitt. Hewitt Trussell over Spartan, probably by uh, probably by three touchdowns. Three touchdowns it really shakes out. So I, I'll go with you on that one. I think Hewitt's uh, a, a three touchdown, at least three touchdowns, better than the Sparkman team. So. Clay Chalkville, uh, as uh, they get ready, they're going to take on a Carver on a Saturday night. And your thoughts on right. that one? Well, Carver has a really, really good defense, but I don't think they have enough offense to do anything. I think uh, Clay is feeling really good about itself. I think the Cougars will win this game. Maybe not uh, a blowout, but I'm, I'm going to say they're going to beat them by 20 points. 20 points. So, yeah, that's I would consider that one a blowout. So, uh, now Pinson taking on center point. At Pinson, we, we kind of already know how this one's going to turn out. Pinson's yeah, going to name their score here. We, we do. It'll be interesting to see what Pinson looks like uh, after, after the Shades Valley game, the first game they played without uh, Bo Nix and then having an off week. Um, I understand Jackie Matthews has worked some more at quarterback. Um, don't know if he'll start or if Barry White will be the starter, but Pinson's going to win this game. They'll probably both play, and I think Pinson will probably win this game you know, 40 or 50 points, they can name their score. All right, I'll agree with you there, too. Finally, Springville, uh, get their, they got their first win this past Friday night. Do they keep that momentum rolling as they take on John Carroll? Yeah, it's really, that's really hard to say. John Carroll's a 6 team that's improving. I mean, they've, they've, they've played well some games, bad some other games. You know, this game's at Springville. You know, what the heck, let's go with Springville and make it two in a row. <laughs> All right, Springville, they got a little win streak going. Yeah. I'll go, go with there. Springville there, too. Uh, I, I think that they have some momentum going forward. There's there's a little bit of excitement beginning to build. It's amazing what one win can do for a program. Absolutely. So we'll, we'll just see how it goes. But uh, that's our show for this week. We'll be back next week with uh, more commentary and predictions. For David Knox, I'm Zach Steele. So long, everybody.